Hello everyone, welcome to a new lecture. In this video, we are going to explore the types of mass wasting. But before we do that, either a mass wasting is dominated by soil and regolith, it is dominated by fine material, or is dominated by rocks. We have big chunks of rock in the mass wasting, and the whole mass wasting is dominated by rocks. So either a landslide or mass wasting is soil and regolith dominated, or it is rock dominated. Okay, so let's pass that and see how many types of mass wasting do we have, or what are the types of mass wasting? Well, we have several types. We have, for example, slumps, we have rock and debris falls, we have rock and debris slides, we have flows, we have creeps, solar flexion, and we have permafrost. I have divided these based on the rate of movement or how fast they are. So these four, the slumps, rock and debris falls, rock and debris slides, and flow, these are fast movement. They happen very, very quickly. However, the other ones, creep, solar flexion, and permafrost, they are slow movement. Sometimes few millimeters in a month or a year or few centimeters in a year. So these three, creep, solar flexion, and permafrost, these are slow landslides, slow mass wasting. These slumps, rock and debris fall, rock and debris slides, and flow, these are fast movement. These are fast mass wasting. So let's explore each of these in more detail. The first we will start with the fast movements and we will start with rock and debris slides. So what are rock and debris slides? So it happens when rock or debris slide down a pre-existing surface as you can see in this picture. We have a surface and we have either rocks or debris when they slide when the friction between the surface and the rock is less than the gravity that acts on this piece of rock the rock will slide down slope. Also the steepness of the slope is higher than the friction between the rock and the surface also the rock will slide. So rock and debris slides it just happens when rock or debris slide down a pre-existing surface and this is a form of fast movement or fast landslides. The next one we have on rock and debris falls. Rock and debris falls happens when a piece of rock falls down the slope. Debris falls are similar except they involve a mixture of soil, regolith, and rocks. At the base there is an accumulation of fallen materials termed as talus. So as you can see in this picture this is very big chunks of rock creating mass wasting and sliding down the slope. At the base either you have these big chunks of rock or you have smaller finer material like regolith or soil. At the base where all the fall material accumulates, this region is called a talus. In this case, our base here is a road. In other areas, it's just an unpaved area. Next, we have slumps. Slumps are more interesting. Slumps are a type of slides where in downward rotation of rock or regolith occurs along a curved surface due to over steepening. So as you can see in this picture, we have slumps and slumps are just like that. When you have a slope and underneath the support of the upper material is downward. When these supports are removed, the upper material will come down in a curved surface. The materials are not falling, the materials are not sliding, but actually they are moving in a curved surface as you can see it in this picture. And usually you will have a staircase effect. So this is about slumps. Then we have flow. Flow of soil and regolith containing a large amount of water, like lahars. An example of flow landslide would be Mamias mud flow in Ponky, Puerto Rico, caused by heavy rains and mud flow destroyed more than 100 homes and caused 300 casualties. To take a break between fast movement and slow movement, we'll talk about rate of movement. The most rapid rate of movement is called avalanche. You may hear this for snow when you have a fast movement of snow, but actually in geology we can call a fast, a very fast landslide an avalanche. Either it has snow or it has rock materials like regolith, soil, or big rocks. Okay, so now we talked about the four fast movements, the four fast landslides or mass wasting. There were slumps, rock and debris falls, rock and debris slides, and flow. Now we will talk about the slow movement or the slow landslides or slow mass wasting, and they are creep, solar flexion, and permafrost. So what are each of these? Well, the first one, creep, is the gradual downhill movement of soil and regolith. As you can see in this picture, the slow movement of rocks or soil down a hill or down a slope is called a creep. As you can see, it, it's apparent on the trees. They are kind of concave to this direction, and it's a result of creep. The soil and the materials are slowly coming down the slope, and they are bringing everything with them. The movement is not apparent. The movement, you cannot see it with your eyes because it's not fast. It's not like a flow or it's not like a fall, but actually it's slow movement or gradual downhill movement of soil and regolith. This is creep. 
Then we have soliflexion. This is very interesting. Soliflexion is a flow of saturated soil downslope at a rate of few millimeters or few centimeters per day or per year. I always have seen this on mountains when I drove by, but I never could understand it or name it. But it's called soliflexion. As you can see it, on a steep mountain, you will see these kind of ripples, these kind of waves, and they are a result of saturated soil coming down a slope at a very small rate few millimeters or few centimeters per day or per year and they create these kind of shapes it's a wavy kind of shape or a ripple kind of shape and they are called soliflexion the last type of slow mass wasting or landslide that we have is called permafrost permafrost is slow landslides due to slowly melting of permanently frozen ground this may sound strange but in very very cold areas the ground is usually frozen because you have winter 10 out of 12 months of the year so the ground is frozen and in the hot two months that you have for example the ground will slowly melt and it creates landslides why because as you can see in this picture this slope has failed why because you have frozen material right here and when it melted the ground kind of got depressed and everything that you have on top will slowly come down it will create mass wasting or it will create a landslide this is an effect of permafrost the ground has been frozen and when the frozen ground started to melt slowly the ground got depressed and the house was deformed so this is permafrost is slow landslide due to slowly melting of permanently frozen ground as you can see it in this picture and permafrost is a type of slow movement or slow mass wasting and with this we come to the end of our lecture to recap 